Right, so what we have here is the Afterglow AG6, and we're doing a review of it. So we're just going to open it up. Just here we've got some tape. Pull this to open. See the headphones themselves, and then under here we have the manual. It also has a little microphone squishy tip in there. You can see Afterglow. Put that to the side. Then we're greeted by the main thing, the headphones. Come in a plastic pocket. As you can see, there's the headset. Clear sides. If we peel one of these off. See they're all shiny there. They've got the clear Afterglow logo in there, in the center. And in here we've got the audio controls. It's got a microphone on and off switch and a volume adjustment there on the side. And then it comes down to an auxiliary 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And also in the box you've got the microphone. It looks like this. It's a flexible boom mic. It's got like a curved display bit here. It's bendy, you can bend it like this. Alright, now we'll go to the sound test. You can see it looks pretty nice, it's got a really nice design. It almost looks like um, a heat sink or something. It's also got afterglow on the top. It's sort of got like a textured side bit. They're adjustable, so you can pull it out like that. The whole frame is um, plastic. It feels good, doesn't feel cheap. And the top bit of padding has like sort of ventilated foam. And the ear cushions are synthetic leather. You can plug the microphone into this part here going to do now. It's got like a little key bit so that you put it in the right way up. Alright, we're going to try one now. Pretty comfortable fit. It also comes with a little uh, wind guard for the microphone that you can put over the top of it. Try to do that quickly. It looks like you can just slide it over. If I can do it. <laughs> I'm once like going over. Three hours later. Got like a little wind guard for the microphone. First, I'm just going to try it with some music. It's a comfortable fit as well. It's not too tight. It's got the the adjustment on here works well. So after trying with music, um, they seem like they're very very good. They sound pretty clear and um, the bass is definitely there and it's pretty powerful, I must say. Um, but now I'm just going to try it with some games. So you can just plug it straight into the bottom of an Xbox or PlayStation remote, and we're just going to try some games out. Another one of the main reasons I bought these headphones was to see if they would work with VR. Because I've always played PlayStation VR with just the little earbuds that came with it, but um, after owning it for about a week, I've realised that I did want to get an actual good headset. Just try it on, and we'll see if they hopefully fit over the top of it. Alright, so they do pretty much fit over, just barely, but they're not fully around my ears. They're just sort of sitting more on top. As you can see, there's not much room in here for them to fit. If you've got a small, smaller head than me, they'd fit easily, but just for me, they just barely fit. But I'd say it's still usable. Play some VR and see what it's like. <laughs> So overall, in the end after testing them, they definitely do have significant bass and clarity. For VR, they seem perfect for me now after testing them, and um, I look forward to using them a lot more, but they're definitely solidly built. They look nice, and they've got a good design, and I like how they've got blue cord, everything works well, and they sound fantastic, so I would definitely recommend them. Turn to the Mac, get up what it is, what it does, what it is, what it isn't. Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting up.